First, let's start by removing this cover, which is hiding the RAM and the hard drive. To do that, take your Phillips screw. There's two screws here. Now remove the hard drive. It's held in by four screws. Just take them out. Before pulling out the hard drive, make sure you unclip the ribbon cable here and disconnect the hard drive. Just like that. And then your hard drive can be pulled out and set aside for later. Right here you have your RAM. To remove the RAM, just separate these two metal pieces and the RAM should pop out. And just pull it away. Next remove the Wi-Fi cable and to do that unscrew this screw here. Just like that. Set this aside and then this connect any cable here that you see by pulling them out and then pull out the wireless chip. Now we remove any screws that we see on the bottom which are located here, 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 there, there, here, here, and here, and here, and also here, and there. Let's disconnect this cable. Alright, and start removing the screws. Let's follow along. Good idea to set these aside, keep them in order because they are all in different shape. Not, they're not different shape, but they're in different length. So, Okay, so after all the screws have been removed, make sure you pull out the uh, CD-ROM, flip the computer over. You can see my display, it's already removed, but I'll show you how to do that later. Take a flat screwdriver, and we're going to pry the keyboard out. Stick it in here, and push it up while pulling the keyboard out. Should unclip. Just like that. Stick it in and pry it up. And try to pull on the keyboard to pull it out, preventing the keyboard from going back in and clipping in place. Do the next one. Now this keyboard is also held in by clips on the side. Just pull it out. Disconnect the ribbon cables. There's flaps here that are holding it in place. Just lift it up. Set this aside. Now let's remove these ribbon cables. Now we're going to remove the screws which were underneath the keyboard. Remember to keep them in order because the length may vary. For this particular laptop, all the screws underneath the keyboard are the same length. Next step is to pry the case off. We're actually prying the bottom off the top. And before we do that, I forgot to mention that there are three screws here hidden underneath the CD-ROM. Now here is the tricky part, which is actually prying the computer apart. I'm going to use something thin and flat. I'm using my ID card. And I'll start at the corner here. And pry it open. Work your way around it. Did you find that? Make sure you're going to screw up all screws. 
There may be clips here holding it in place. There you go. Should come out just like that. Now we're inside. Start by removing the display assembly. I already removed it, but it's held in here. Just unscrew it. Keep the order the same because they might be different enough. Disconnect the cable from here. Here's a clip. You just lift it up, pull the cable out. Another cable would be here. You don't pull it out that way, you pull it up. So be careful about that. You don't want to break your cables. Here's the display assembly. To take this apart, be very careful. The bezel is held in by clips and it's also glued onto the screen. So if you're trying to replace the display cable and preserve the screen, I will warm up the bezel with a controlled heat source like an SMD Reworks station um, blower. Set it on low temperature, warm up the adhesive, and use something really flat and uh, pry the glue, the bezel off the screen or slowly peel it off without breaking the screen. Uh, I learned that the hard way. So start by sticking something thin in the, on the edge, prying it open like that. Be careful not to damage the cameras up here. This is the touchscreen model with Windows Hello. And we have to glue around it. Now to remove the display, there are four screws holding down the display, which are located here. Just remove them. Now that the cable is routed, it's time to screw, put back the screws here. Keep the cable down. It's, it's a good idea to add some thread lock to the threads of the screws so they won't fall out. Normally when you buy, buy a computer, they already add thread lock to the screws to keep them in place. You don't want to put too much thread lock because thread lock will actually eat away the plastic. Okay, here is my new display I bought from laptop screens. Flip it to the back. You see the connector. To connect the cable, you take the connector. It's hard to film. And you slide it into the socket. A little difficult. You slide it into the socket, pull down this lever until it clicks into place, tape it down. Take the display, be careful, make sure there's nothing underneath. I found that this is actually a little bit more tricky. So before screwing these in, I would let it loose because the wire needs to route around the housing here. Now, I'm going to stuff the cable back in neatly, just like that. Yeah, that makes more sense. Tighten these, tighten these down. Now all you need to do is reverse the process and you have yourself a new screen or a new cable assembly, whichever is broken for you.